I mean, look how naturally this thing cascades. Yeah. It looks like all these rocks were here for however long. Exactly. You know, thousands right. of years. <laughs> the vision is starting to come together, and the homestead, and I think the pond is just such a critical part of it that I didn't know. Oh my god! <laughs> Woo! It's perfect! It's absolutely perfect. How did you do <laughs> <laughs> we are plugging a pump can <laughs> in the dark. It's not the first time we've done this, <laughs> but still exciting nonetheless. We are going to get this running. We are 95% done. We got a little bit of edge treatment. It's just getting a little bit too dark. We're going to get the pump operational, come back in the morning, tweak everything out, do all the little detail type stuff so we can finish up this project after us. Sarah's coming in right behind us. He's gonna be working with Kevin, who is coming right around the corner to finish the patio, to do the water table, to figure out all the plantings, aquatic as well as terrestrial. This is gonna be awesome, and I hear water. Nice! Yes! Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. How did you do <laughs> This is the Neo of ponds. You can see it all. Oh wow, that looks so good. It's awesome. Oh, look at the, the uh, falls. Tons of action. <laughs> that looks so good. <laughs> I'm losing it. That's awesome. So it's going to fill, it. it'll fill that it'll up fill. and then it'll finally return. It's going to draw that down halfway. <laughs> At least, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Fill that whole wow. thing up and then return. We're so, gonna leave it running overnight. Yeah. Tweak everything out in the morning. Is this the moment that you live for? Absolutely. Yeah. This is exactly <laughs> it. Woo, it looks so good, man. <laughs> I love it. With the driftwood in there. Woo. Yeah. Tending to my pond, you know? That's what I do these days. Just come out and tend to my pond. All right, we are here. The day is finally here. I can see it, I can hear it. It feels amazing to have. I mean, we're standing on probably one of the cooler pieces here, oh, Ed. This was awesome. You yeah. and Sarah nailed it. <laughs> you guys found yeah. some incredible stone. You had great selection. The accent pieces, I love. The big yeah. boulders mixed in. Everything, I'm, I think, works really, really well in this space. When you look at this, mm -hmm. and I'm not being B, I'm not BSing, it yeah. looks like a real pond yeah. in nature, yeah. and that's to do with you and how you placed all the boulders. Yeah, I mean, that's just years and years of experience. Yeah. Th thousands of projects that I've built around the world. Yeah. You know, just, you get an eye for it, so it becomes second nature. Mm -hmm. So I know, I start with my big rocks, and then I know how to kind of balance everything in, and yeah. you just flip them, you move them, twist sure. them around. I'm all always taking a look from the main viewing area, looking back on it to make sure that it's gonna look good as well as be structural. Okay. This is a very impromptu and interruption to your video. Brian Helfrich and myself are excited to announce the Aquascape Hands-On Academy. And this is the hands-on area right here. This was originally created for the Sandbox Studio for the Aquascape Artists of the Year, but it's gonna be turned into a training academy for all people that wanna be contractors to come and learn with our crew. You're gonna see Chris, our crew, and how they build a one-day pond, and we're gonna show you how to do it in four hours. We're gonna have bleachers over here. People are gonna be able to get inside, get their hands dirty. Besides the 11, by 16 or 8 by 11, whatever yep. we decide to do for the one day pond. We're also gonna put in fountainscapes and a pondless waterfall. Come to the Aquascape Hands-On Training Academy this winter and work with us in a sandbox actually getting your hands dirty and learning how to have a career with water features. Don't you wanna tell them about the other day? It's two days! The classroom day! <laughs> one day is gonna be hands-on in the sandbox, the other day is gonna be how to actually run a water feature business. Everything you need to know, 30 years of experience, 26 years at the helm, building water features, designing water features, selling water features, marketing water features, promoting water features, everything to do with running a water feature business. Oh, you said a lot in a short amount of time. We're gonna have yeah. a lot in two days. <laughs> Register, check out the link below. And now, back to the vlog. 
Well, let's take a look at the feature. I mean, we yeah, haven't even yeah. shown that yeah, off yet. Absolutely. Well, let's, let's double waterfall. Right. Almost a triple with this little brook here. Exactly. Yeah. So, so the, here's the bio filter. It's got the bio balls in there. Yeah. The, fil the, there. the filter media to pull out sediments, and then it's also home to all the microorganisms. Right. I mean, look how naturally this thing cascades. Yeah. It looks like all these rocks were here for however long. Exactly. You know, thousands <laughs> of years. The function of this is, of course, aesthetic, but also it's going to oxygenate the water. It oxygenates. So yeah, if you remember, we talked about all the organisms living in there, for yeah. the microcosm of life, mm -hmm. they're consuming nutrients in the water. They're breaking it down, detoxifying it from the fish waste. But during that process, they consume oxygen. Yeah. Waterfall is going to re-oxygenate, which is very important for fish health, but it also is important for aerobic bacteria living through the entire river system. Across really. all the rocks Everything. and stones and pebbles. Because, I mean, I'll be honest, when I first talked to you guys about the pond project, I'm dumbly thinking, okay, you dig a hole, you put a liner, and then you fill it with water, you have a pond. But, I mean, you have pebbles of different sizes, you're going to get moss on those, algae, yep. you're going to get all sorts of organisms. And then, in my world, you're going to start to think about the aquatic plants, duckweed, duck potato, lotus, lily pads, all that kind of stuff. But then, the, to me, the really cool part is you've left these pockets here mm -hmm. around the landscape where I can put in what, whatever the hell I want, Absolutely. really. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I think that's a really important piece because we really want to have that naturalized setting, but it really is important to have plants kind of softening these edges. I mean, I love the, I'm a stone fanatic. Yeah, I love the geology, the rocks, but I, I want to hide a bunch of it. Yeah. You know, so by having plants that creep and crawl over it, again, it just mimics that riparian zone. At some point in the future, guys, we can't plant it all out right now. Animals, plants, edible and inedible. This saga will continue, and I'm super grateful to you guys. Can't really, can't express it enough. The masterful work, and just the fact that we have a pond in the epic yeah, I, well i appreciate it one other piece before yeah. before i forget we put in this valve over here yeah this is our main plumbing coming off the yep. pump at the bottom of the three thousand gallon reservoir yep. so this line is running to the falls yep yeah. exactly so we put in a separate piece you're gonna end up doing this with sarah i yep. talked to her a little bit about it yep. there's gonna be a one inch pipe coming from here into this yeah from here it goes into your outdoor spigot yep. hose reel whatever you yep. want but there's a pressure switch inside of here. And the reason I think this is important, now instead of using potable water for water in all the plants around this, we're gonna use nutrient laden water with fish waste. It's gonna be no chlorine, no chemicals. That's the craziest part to yeah, me. It's because awesome. Because like with what I'm trying to do at the homestead is how sustainable can you get? And what we're abundant in is sunlight. So I've got energy. I'm, this is being powered for free with solar. Yep. I don't have water, yep. which is why I've got this huge tank over here. Mm -hmm. I've got the gray water systems. And so if I can use rain capture to refill this, Mm -hmm. and refill the water awesome. I can refill the pond from the rain <laughs> and then I can water the garden and that's actually really important guys when you're talking potable water from the city tap you got chlorine in that chloramine maybe hard water deposits you never know exactly where it's coming from for us it's Colorado watering with that versus watering with rainfall you get better oxygenation more nitrogen in the rain when you're talking this this is kind of a living aquaponic system yeah. I come around and hit this hit the garden hit your seedlings with it Insane growth. Insane. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> the vision is starting to come together at the homestead, and I think the pond is just such a critical part of it that I didn't know. Exactly. And then now I do, and hopefully you guys have really enjoyed this install. There's going to be much more to come with it. It'll probably come out at some point in the future. Uh, absolutely, I will. So, I can't wait to see what you've done because yeah. it's going to be an evolving thing. Yeah. But I can't wait to see it a year from now. Really appreciate awesome. it, Ed, you and the team. And for you guys watching, thanks for watching. Good luck in the garden, and keep on growing.